with Cheryl. We can't film that. Dave. Am I starting this again from the beginning or just from the bit where you realise you weren't recording? And Lola. I'm with a flame. Join us as we pitch up and travel all around the UK. So, um, what's the current booking department? Any comments? We've booked a nice site. Lovely site. Any issues? Well, there's no issue because we have a bathroom. <laughs> So I might have inadvertently booked a campsite without a shower block or a toilet block, but that's why you have onboard facilities. That's why it was only £22. So we've just arrived in Borton on the Water. Um, camp, the van, I can't even remember where we are. Caravan and Motorhome Club campsite. Um, just breaking up the journey back to the Midlands. Um, so we're going to have a bit of lunch and then we thought we might walk in but actually the road to walk in doesn't look very nice so I think we're going to drive in. The lady in the reception told us about some motorhome parking. So we hope you enjoy this video. Um, previous video was our trip up, um, a trip in Dorset so we're just travelling back from Dorset um, so if you haven't seen those go back and watch those. Don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when we post again. So we're here at Sunny Born on the Water, got here about half an hour ago. Um, three hour-ish drive up from, um, well, Dorchester essentially. Stopped at Salisbury on the way. Here's some lovely highlights of Salisbury that we, whilst we were there. Good bit of parking, don't you think? Nice and secure. No one's getting in through that door, thing, are they? was way easier than I thought it was going to be. A nice little walk around the town. Got um, coffee and a, uh, something to eat. Uh, quick look around the cathedral. I didn't go into the cathedral because it was too expensive apparently. But we used their facilities. <coughs> um, that's about it. That's really a nice little leisure drive up here. Had a bit, bit of a disaster. No, disaster is a strong word. An issue on the way. So somehow the one of the cupboards came open and everything fell out. So I had to stop. In the primary school, it was a bit of an emergency to put all that back together. But thankfully everything's okay. I think Lola must have left the locker open. I blame her anyway. Was it you? I don't even go in that cupboard. She don't even go in that cupboard. That's where the washing up things are. So, we had a bit of lunch and now we're going to head off. We're going to go in Marge because it's probably easier and quicker. The lady's told us where to park. We're going to go and park in Borton on the Water and have a look around and spend the rest of the afternoon stroke evening there, have dinner. And we'll come back for a little bit of shut eye and then off home tomorrow.
Well, you go for a dip, love. What do you reckon? Madness. I've got no chocolate, I'm afraid. I've got a fantastic mint choc chip. Salted uh, salted caramel, strawberry clotted cream, black currant clotted cream, or vanilla. <laughs> They're all brilliant, honestly. Oh, yeah. And if it's not the best you've ever had, I'm going to give you your money back. <laughs> I'm going to have strawberry then, please. One strawberry. I'll eat it and then say it's not the best I've ever had. Well, actually, read the small print, <laughs> sir. Read the small print. <laughs> you've got a one yard guarantee. <laughs> one yard. And you've just passed it. <laughs> what do you want now? Right. And um, can I have salted caramel. Salted caramel. Did you want more? Not more. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that bit of caramel in there. Oh, nice. And when you bite into it, that's where we hide the salt. We've won three awards for that. Oh, I love it. I love the black carrot one, I think. Thank you. And the black one. I'm doing the ice cream dance. <laughs> How's that go? <laughs> I've got your ice cream. No, you I haven't it tried like... it yet because I'm holding yours. <laughs> How's it like? It's nice. Is it the best ice cream you've ever had? I don't know, it'd be helpful, mouthful. 24 hours from milk to cup. Powder cup. Quite good actually. Right, where do you want to go? Well, we're trying to find the model village. Sit on that wall for a minute. What? No, we're walking. Where are we going? No, I want to sit down. In a model town, in a model town, in a model town, in a village. Oh, it's not as impressive, is it? <laughs> in a town. Yeah. It's, not it's a village. It's a model village. Oh, model village in a model village in a model village in a model village in a village. Here we have, in its common habitat. Cheryl lurking, looking for a geocache. <laughs> Rarely seen sight in the British Isles. Look how she prowls, head down, <laughs> staring at the phone, looking for a bit of plastic Tupperware. Some call it geocaching, others call it a complete waste of time. Years and years of evolution <laughs> has led to this moment. She is literally looking for a plastic tub in a bush. Are you quite finished? I'm finished, I'm still recording. Let's wait for her excitement levels to rise. 
As she gets closer. <laughs> Whoa, he's missing a bush there. <laughs> and the strange device she holds in her hand will start making a buzzing, beeping sound. Whoa, she's now joined by her offspring, learning how to fend for herself in the wild geocaching environment. As with other species, not all hunts are successful. I couldn't find it. Look at the disappointment and sadness on her face. Where should we look for another one? <laughs> Will she be able to survive yeah. the next day? Another demonstration of how geocaching can be a matter mm. of life and death. Successful on the previous hunt. She's now striding out again, trying to find a geocache for her and her offspring. The offspring looks unimpressed. Oh, sorry. Attenborough doesn't get this grief. So she's looking. She's looking in the in the grave. What's the clue? What's the clue? Somewhere in here mm. there's a plastic pot with a piece of paper in that we're going to waste too much of our life trying to find. There it is. The person earlier took a photo of the ice cream. <laughs> We can't put our name on it because we didn't bring a pen. Oh well, it's the thought that counts. It's, oh, like it's been found a lot of plastic. times. It's not even paper. Um, you found a firefly. Yeah, that's the 16th of April. And there's a bit of paper. It's the 30th of, of that either. No, I think that's May. 31st, so yesterday. Twice yesterday it was found. Oh, found today as well. Oh, the last one here is yesterday. Wow, look at the joy on her face. Yay! We can be the first one of June to find okay. There'll be another one. Can we get some food now? What? Can we get food oh, now? There's three more that way. Well, should we have food if we've got time? Yes, we need to have food because I'm about to. There's a hole in my stomach that needs filling. Singular, sweet. I had one sweet. That one's called Scorpion Bird. So Let's that not. One. Okay, I think you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> My elbows just clicked. I would absolutely recommend if you come to Borton on the water, hanging around till the evening when all of the tourists like us go away. It's so much nicer without everyone <laughs> being there. Right, off to find Marge. So as you can see, this car park was heaving when we got here. What time did we get here? About three o'clock? Uh, just before. Half three. Yeah. And now it's like nigh on empty. So this is the, so time, this to is the time to come. If you're coming like to Borton on the water, come about six, seven o'clock in the evening. Well, there's much less people. And you can overnight for £15 50. and there's toilets. Toilets? Is that the toilets? Oh, 15 quid to stay overnight. 
but no caravans. No caravans, so Traders. everything's a bonus. Um, there's a Marge, Marge friend. And here we are, back at Marjorie. And it's really quiet as well, but it's quite quiet in the evening. Have you actually told them what the car park is? Oh yeah, it's behind the co-op. Behind the co-op. It's signposted, you can't miss it. Yeah, not the Although Cheryl car tried, park. not the co-op car park, no. Cheryl tried to make a gun co-op car park. Here we go, Lola, we're back. Yeah, I'll have to spin it. It's a bit worrying though that there's no exit for motorhomes. <laughs> it can't leave, what do you mean? Through that gate. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to hear from you, so please introduce yourself in the comments and tell us where in the world you are watching from. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what we do, please click the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to receive notifications of when we post again. You can also find us, The Pitched Up Wanderers, on Instagram and Facebook.